Hello, TCPW and I, Creepypasta Reads, are starting a brand new segment called Dual Narration. We need three stories, one per round, and if you finish the whole thing you get five points, but if you laugh you lose a point. Also, if you mess up three times you lose a point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins the game. In the case of a tie, there will be a sudden death round, where they will attempt to read a really really bad story without messing up or laughing. Whoever makes it through longest without doing either wins. Ask Doug to help me with that. Okay. Right. And we're recording, by the way. So. We are? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> so. I, I, I suppose I'm going to start off by explaining the pause. We did the pause because that was the first five episodes of this series. was like season one. And then we take a little bit of a break. Hop into season two. Take a little bit of a break. Hop to season three. And we're going to do as many seasons as we can until we either die or get sick of the series. So. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't think we ever can be. This segment is too much fun. And there's so it, many bad stories out there to read. Way too many to count. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. So since this is going on my channel, wasn't the Google you go first? Uh. Yeah, I think so. Right. Okay, this one's called Joffrey the Killer. Oh. So there was this kid who was king, and his name was Joffrey, and he was a sadist and chisel, and then he got poisoned. Da -da -da -da. So after that, he came back to life, and then he cut himself, and he became Joffrey the Killers. Okay. So Joffrey killed some people, and then he got stabbed because some butt hort fanboy x -x 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 decided doty. <laughs> Decide to doty. <laughs> How? <laughs> I can't read this shit. How can you not? Like, is it that hard to pronounce? It's just making you bust into laughter. Okay. Decided doty. Oh, but the rule him in sojourned a skeleton sand. I am dying, man. Nathan Skelly's pop tip top top. No, I'm not. That was it. Uh, I laughed what? at the very end of that, so that doesn't count, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was just trying to like visualize what was going on. And it was just a clusterfuck, so I, I wasn't really laughing as much as just, like, trying to figure out what the hell they were trying to portray. I was just really confused. <laughs> I laughed way too hard at that. Okay, oh, now, I want to start off by the picture of this is, like, Will Smith smiling, and it's, like, opened in paint, and he's got, like, blood going down his face and stuff. Okay. And it's called, Look Behind You. <laughs> So this one time, right, my name was John Carter, and aim goal to yard to buy sell, g g yard sale game. I stumbled upon man who licked his lips. He seemed legit, so I bought a Pop-Tart off him. The last thing I heard of him was... <laughs> I read the Pop-Tart part, and like... <laughs> him was by, insert name here. What the fuck? How did he know my name? I get home and I was put Pop Tart in Game Roy. What the what? fuck? I broke it, did it. I saw what said without expecting that Lavender Town started playing. To play as I scratched my ears in terrible eye pain. I decided I was fed up, so I went to buy all the old Pokemon games. When I got there, the clerk told me we don't sell Gen 1 through Gen 3. So I jumped up on the register and screamed like a banshee. He reluctantly, with his eyes and ears bleeding, took the game and started to nut punch him 20 times. What? The weird part was, he started crying in pain. Then I woke up and there was a plate of creepy linguine on my lap as shit spewed out of my mouth into an unkept genitals. Look behind you. Yep. Is that it? Yeah, something about uh, he's spewing shit out of his mouth. On oh my on god, what? Genitals. Okay, um... Okay, still didn't get a second story yet, so... <laughs> Patience, my friends. 
Okay, this one looks good. <laughs> this one looks really good. Okay. I might end up laughing at this. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> it's called Scary Man. Once upon a time, there was this scary man, Yah, and he was very scary, and he was scary, and one day, yeah. this very scary man said, I'm gonna scare some little kids. So the scary man walked to these little kids' houses and rung the doorknob. A little kid answered and said, Hi, who are you? And the very scary man, who was very scary, said, I'm a scary man, and I'm gonna scare you. <laughs> the kid said, No, you can't, because I won't let you in. And the little kid closed the door, but the scary man wouldn't give up, and it was night, and walked back to kid's house. Scary man brought ladder this time, so he climbed up to the kid's windows, opened it up, and then he saw the kids in bed and said, Boo! I'm gonna scare you! And then oh, Billy yeah. woke up and said, Oh yeah? Well, taste my brother's butt. And he waked up his butt and fired his deadly diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I just picture it. Brother, I need your help, tosses him like fucking laxatives. <laughs> okay. Who fired his deadly diarrhea at the scary man, and the scary man melted because the poo was acid. The next oh. day at school, the kids were at school, and they were at school, and in class, yeah. guess what? They had a sub, and it was a sub, and guess what else? The substitute teacher was a black man. He scurred <laughs> all y'all ass, and then we yelled and peed a bit. Oh. I, I mean, that, that's a way to end the story. A little bit of racism. Yep. Oh, I laughed a couple times during that one. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I knew it was gonna be a good one. <sighs> uh, that was pretty... I'm not gonna lie, the di the diarrhea part was unexpected. I know. That oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna do a short one called Sonic Lust World. Okay. It's like Sonic Lost World. Okay. I went to launch day release of Sonic Lost World, and then I saw skeletons in my closet, and they jumped out, but I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna play Sonic, and then I got the end game played it on my Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, <laughs> then, and then started Sonic without a skeleton from the closet that I just came out of <laughs> and died several times in game, and it was realistic with blood and guts and organs and gore and blood and organs and organs, and then my family came over and spanked me for playing a violent video game. Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, I laughed so much. During that. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be that good. I was just like, oh, all caps, a lot of grammar errors. I'm just generic, you know. My Wii U Wii. <laughs> Wii U Wii U. I, I repeated Wii U like four times. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Okay. This one looks good. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, this one's called um hyper realistic Sanic. Oh here we go. Sanic. Sanic. I have a picture you can use for this too. It's amazing. Okay. This one day, this guy went to this old run-down house where an old man lived. He walked up to a creepy old man and saw a Sanic game. He asked how much, and creepy old man gave it to him free and said something creepy and hyper-realistic. Oh, yeah. He then found a Sega Genesis in an old crummy box that fell from the sky that had a hyper-realistic <sighs> trash smell to it. He begun to play and it got dark, hyper-realistic blood and hyper-realistic guts and hyper-realistic scaries and then a hyper-realistic scary... Oh. <laughs> I... <laughs> hyper-realistic skeleton pumped out. Nah. I did it, I did it. I made it through without laughing. I think. I, I don't.
um, I don't know. I'll be the judge of that when I'm editing. <laughs> okay, so the, you go last, I guess? Yeah. I don't Less know. This might. Story. You know, I'm not even gonna say anything. Well, the I saved the best title for last. Animatronics fucking around in my house. So, plus I think this is a relevant topic because animatronics fucking around in my house. It's probably a Five Nights at Freddy's thing, right? So, yeah. I'm gonna go for it. It was almost 1 a.m. and Evil Patrick Six Six paying me a visit. I was playing some Call of Duty No Scoping 4 2360 Quickscope Smoke Weed Darude Sandstorm XXX Snipers XXX Blaze It Some Faggots And then I heard heavy breathing in the bathroom What? I looked at the keyhole and saw Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's Oh, Bonnie. whoa, yeah, from Five Nights at Freddy's Yeah, from Five Nights at Freddy's Fucking Chica right in the pussy Who's Chica? Chica's Who's Chica the, of Five Nights at Freddy's character? Chica's the fucking the, Was that the yellow bird? Chicken, the chicken thing yeah, the chicken. The chicken thing. Instantly, I shat a brick. I went to the kitchen and grabbed a plunger and rushed to the bathroom. Too bad that I got caught by Foxy and then thrown into bed. He said, get ready for the knot. I shat myself again. Before raping me, Foxy took some Viagra and drank the vodka. Oh, God. But she's drunk as well. And Freddy grabbed him in the dick to throw him into a flight of stairs. Getting his not his stuck dick? in toilet paper. Yeah, pretty damn nasty. Yes. I don't want to touch another motherfucker's dick for anything. So if it's to throw someone down the stairs, you'd be surprised. Uh, I don't know. I'd fucking just grab their leg or something. <laughs> Seriously. Fre Freddy says, where's Bonnie and Chica? I said, they're getting laid at. Freddy also shat up brick. And we passed out. After a while... I woke up and went to the bathroom. I saw Bonnie and Chica stoned after getting laid 69 times in a row. I walked downstairs and there's no sign of Freddy. While Foxy's head is inside the refrigerator and says, kill me. I said, later, and shut the door. Cleaning the bathroom wasn't easy. It took a whole fucking day. Cleaning the whole mess was Bonnie's uncontrollable sex activity. And then I knocked out Foxy, but and got raped the whole night long. Much worse than Shrek. And the story is there. What? Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Wait, is that the end? Yeah, it's the end. Yeah. So. Well, let's do a little bit, I guess, on... I'm gonna do this in an Australian accent as the best to the best of my ability. Oh. Or Irish, I don't know. Okay. For the last bit of I'm just gonna fucking improvise. For the last bit of this po uh not podcast uh segment I'm going to be talking in a weird accent. And okay, anyway. We'll be continuing these uh, bi-weekly like usual, or not bi-weekly. It, it's bi-weekly for, okay. for us individuals. Yeah, yeah okay. Bi-weekly. Okay. Gym. Same as it was before, this will be on TCPW's channel and the next one will be on mine. So make sure to check both of our channels weekly to see if we actually kept our word and posted them. Probably not. There's like a 60% chance we will. Eh, I think we can do it if we believe in ourselves. Fight the power. <laughs> the willpower. Yeah.